African American history is sometimes hard to come across because so little is known and written about it. But archaeologists can unearth unspoiled records of what happened hundreds of years ago. Our Washington correspondent Morgan Wright reports on what archaeologists discovered in Maryland. Deep in the forest, sisters Wanda Watts and Shelly Evans walk in the footsteps of their ancestors. The two women share a frustration common to many African Americans whose ancestors were enslaved in America. We have no history. We begin and we end here. But thanks to a recent and accidental discovery, the sisters may have uncovered their family's hidden history on this piece of land. My uh, three times great grandmother was born here. Evans and Watts are the descendants of slaves who lived, worked, and may have died here on what was the Belvoir Plantation. Dr. Julie Shablitsky is the chief archaeologist with the Maryland Department of Transportation. We were initially looking for the Rochambeau encampment, which was during the American Revolution. But instead, they found slave quarters built in the 1780s and lived in until emancipation in 1864. The land was a tobacco plantation once owned by relatives of Francis Scott Key, who wrote the Star Spangled Banner. A former resident of the property tipped Dr. Shablitsky's team off to what they thought could be a slave cemetery tucked along a ravine deep in the woods. They found nearly half a dozen pieces of broken marble and stones resembling grave markers, but to be sure, Dr. Shablitsky brought in cadaver dogs. For me, it was the knowledge of them being buried someplace um, rather than being tossed away. But even so, they may never know for certain if their family is actually buried here at Belvoir. In Crownsville, Maryland, Morgan Wright. Dr. Shablitsky says there are no immediate plans for the uncovered slave cemetery. The slave quarters have been fully excavated and the state plans to add interpretive panels to the site.